What's up, guys? So today we are talking about why I no longer promise six figures in six minutes, six figures in six months, or any kind of income claims on any of my marketing, on, on any of my programs. I posted this post to Instagram and it actually did really well. So I wanted to kind of bring this thinking over to the channel and just get your feedback on it and what you think and what you're experiencing in your coaching programs. Because I know everybody has different thoughts about this and I wanna share mine. So first of all, before we get started, let's handle some business. If you are new here to the channel, a big, huge welcome to this channel. My name is Dallas Gordon. I am a business mentor, business coach, marketing expert, author, speaker, and a power seller. So I own two businesses, the Journal Junk Box, DG Journals, as well as the Purpose Driven Business Collective, which is my coaching program, my coaching membership for purpose driven entrepreneurs. So definitely check that out. I've been in business for about 11 years. I started out um, with e-commerce. I've had a lot of e-commerce businesses over the year. I used to build them and sell them. I also have taught thousands at this point of entrepreneurs to build their e-commerce businesses as well as run successful coaching businesses as well. Um, just a little while ago, I pivoted my coaching business to sort of have a balance and do some of the inner work that entrepreneurs need with them as well as the practical stuff, as well as how to show up and show out and market yourself and all that kind of stuff. So doing a little bit both. Um, so I'm excited to be here and to share this topic with you. So I just wanna tell you the background of who I am and what I do before we get started. All right, so let's get into this topic, guys. There are a lot of coaches out here and I'm not knocking them. Let me put that out there first. I'm not knocking them. There are a lot of coaches who everything is about their income. Everything is about promising you what kind of income you're gonna make when you join their program. Um, and a lot of the programs are rooted in, um, you know, if you join this program, I'm gonna help you to make a million dollars. If you're gonna join this program, this is what I'm gonna help you to do. And I'm not knocking that. Frankly, it's what a lot of people are attracted to. A lot of people are attracted into shiny objects. Myself, you know, I was that way included. So we look to work with people that are flashy and showing their numbers and promising us the same. But there are a few reasons why I stopped doing that in my coaching. So the first reason, guys, is that it no longer aligns with me. It no longer aligns with my values or beliefs to flash around my income, nor to promise people what they're going to make when they work with me. Now, there are lots of success stories and testimonies um, with the people that I have worked with. And I'm happy about that. And I'm excited about that. And I'm celebrating um, those entrepreneurs and those business owners who have made however much from um, because they were in my program and something I said or did maybe help them. But I think that them making that money is based off of their ability and the work that they put in and not so much me. I was just a guide. I was just there to help, but they were the actual ones that made that money. So telling people that they're going to earn six you know, figures in six months of working with me is not my thing. Um, I don't align with it. I don't feel that it is in alignment with my values. And the reason why is because anything that I've achieved or done in my own personal business has been a result of my own effort. And there are a lot of things behind the scenes that happen with people to get them where they are. So like with me, did I quit my job early? Yeah, I retired my job real early. I was barely 30 when I when I retired my job, but my husband is a high earner, right? So he allowed me to be able to quit my job so that I could focus 100% on my business and he kind of supported the family while I grew my businesses. Now my businesses take care of themselves and can sometimes help the family as well. But it took time and it took his belief and faith in me. So that's my situation. So when you hear me say I retired my job early and you don't hear that whole story, right? You might be frustrated with your results because you couldn't retire your job early. But if you really look at my backstory, the reason why I retired my job early was because I had a support system. That's what I feel like happens when any time that we aim to be like someone else, or anytime we drink the Kool-Aid when someone tells us that if you work with me, you're gonna get X dollar amount. You don't really know 
behind the scenes, every single step this person took, who they were connected with, what their situation was, how much credit they had, you know, what kind of money they had saved in the bank when they made certain moves, right? So you're up here trying to get their same results and you're not working with their same situation. And that's where it gets sticky. So I feel like number one, money is relative in how much success, how I measure success and how I measure money compared to someone else is very relative. So where I might think six figures is very little, someone else might think six, six figures is a ton. Where I might think $100 is, is good enough, someone else might think $100 is nothing, it's chump change. You see what I'm saying? So we all have different feelings about what money means to us and what success looks like for us. So I don't feel like I should be in a position of setting expectations money-wise for my clients and telling them what their ideal expectations should be. Also, my work ethic, my background, my support system may not be like some of the people coming into the program. So when we don't tell the whole story and we promise things, that's where I feel like this community gets really screwed up and people mentally get really screwed up because then they start thinking they're not good enough because they got into your program and they couldn't do what you did. Number two, guys, is that a lot of the people who are looking for overnight success and chasing overnight results, a lot of these people, and I'm not speaking for everybody, but a lot of the people that fill these programs float from program to program because they're looking for something outside of themselves that is going to make them get to the next level. And in order to get to the next level, you got to go within, okay? And some of you guys may not believe that, but I'm going to tell you straight. In order to get to the next level, you got to go within. You got to get aligned with God. You got to get yourself situated on the inside in order for you to go to the next level. Um, and I've experienced that too, um, where lasting wealth, lasting success and all that stuff comes with, it's a, it's, it's a vibrational match for who you are inside. You will never become more than who you are, not in a way that you will be able to sustain it. And that's just what I believe. Okay. So my second one, guys, is that I feel that a lot of the clients that come into these programs float from program to pro program because they are addicted to shiny objects. Oh, if I just join this person's program and I take every penny that I have to invest it in this program when I already don't have any money, this is gonna fix me. And then that doesn't fix you and you still don't have any money. So then the next program comes up where somebody's promising you this amount. If you just follow my system, you're gonna get this amount, right? And then you go in with the last that you have again <laughs> and you invest, it's not funny really, but you invest in that program, again, you don't get what you need because this is all about you and your journey and what's going on inside. So you're not able to do the work. You haven't really gotten over yourself. You're not aligned, you're not clear, and you're trying to put a Band-Aid on to fix something that has a deeper root on the inside of you. So you get involved with another program that doesn't work and you still haven't improved your money situation. So I feel like it's just a cycle with people that do that. And I prefer to get people into my programs that are willing to do the work, that are willing to do the inner work as well as the technical stuff. Right. So you're 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 willing to learn how to send emails a certain way. You're willing to learn how to do funnels and all this other type of stuff. But you're also willing to do the inner work and the mindset work as well that is required for success. I like to build really long term relationships with my clients like guys, my first clients, my first ever clients over eight years ago are still signing up, happily signing up for my programs. You know, and yes, clients should move on. But I'm saying some clients do move on, I should say. But from an integrity standpoint, these clients still trust me and believe that my stuff is good enough to come and sign up with me again. Last one here, guys, is that I chose the authentic marketing business approach. Is to where what that means is that I want to be as authentic as possible in the way that I'm working with and running my business. And I want to do things that feel really good to me to do. And I know that every little thing I do won't feel good. Let's start there. Every little thing I do won't feel good, but I really wanted to build something that I'm in love with and that I feel like is a vibrational match to who I am. And doing things that really make me sick to the stomach, <laughs> like promising that stuff, 
when I know the ins and outs of business and I know your life may not be like mine, your support system may not be like mine, your bank account at this moment may not be, you know, like mine. We are not the same. We are two different people. You're an amazing person and so am I, but we're different, right? You might have better circumstances <laughs> than I did when I started out. I don't know, but to make prom like vague promises like that, that's just not something that I do. But I want to hear from you. I want to know in the comments what you think about this topic. Do you think that people should promise those kind of results? Um, do you think that that's something that people should do? Or do you like when people do that? Are you a coach that does that? What's your thoughts behind that? I would love to hear that in the comments. Either way, I want to hear. Because like I said, I don't believe it's necessarily a right or wrong way. I just think that it's what's right for the individual and what feels wrong for the individual. So for me in my coaching business, I just don't feel that that's the aligned way for me, but I'm not necessarily knocking someone who that is the aligned way for them because we're all so different. So I would love to hear from you in the comments, guys. Don't forget, I've got some amazing resources in the description box. Um, if you're ready to go to the next level, and take the next step with me, definitely check out the Purpose Driven Biz Collective. The link to that will be in the description box. It is just an amazing coaching program. You, I definitely wanna see you on the inside, so check that out. So guys, be blessed. I'll see you on the next video.